Hello everyone, welcome back for Eat the Scrolls Ministry third year of reflecting on the season of Advent. For four weeks we will focus on the theme of Jesus is our happiness. We will look at Matthew's Gospel all throughout the season. We will use the Bible study tool called Scripture Interpret Scripture to deepen our reflection. This method will lead us to a well-known part of Matthew's Gospel which are the Beatitudes. Taking a look at these passages, we will gather new insights as Scripture will interpret Scripture. These discoveries, I hope, will enlighten us and fire up our attitudes and actions in our Advent reading. For example, I bet we all know that the Beatitudes give us Jesus' wisdom on being blessed or happy. Well, one source of our happiness should be what Paul tells us in our second reading and our first Sunday of Advent. Paul said, Our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. And our church teaches us that God has placed the desire for happiness in the human heart in order to draw man to the one who alone can fulfill it. Jesus is the one who can fulfill our happiness. Our salvation is nearer now. Jesus is coming. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. Unfortunately, finding happiness in our Sunday gospel for this first Sunday of Advent is challenging. Jesus reminds his disciples of the days of Noah when everyone was eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. Life was meaningless to this community as they look for happiness in all the wrong places. Jesus also described a strange occurrence. While people are working, two men will be out in the field. One will be taken and one will be left out in the field. This separation will come because salvation is now. Here Jesus instills hope, telling everyone to stay awake, to prepare for the salvation of the Lord. Church, Emmanuel is coming. He will keep his promise to establish his kingdom for this reason. This beatitude, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God is needed in our society today. Jesus wants to fire us up with this beatitude to avoid a lifestyle like the days of Noah. Or for us, instant ratification in this Advent season. Our catechism teaches that we must detach ourselves from things that derail our relationship with God. Remember, the reason why Jesus recognized the widow was that she placed two coins in the collection basket. She gave her whole livelihood because she wanted to be with God. Like this widow, we must become poor in spirit. Or instead of coin, maybe we need to cut our credit cards and attach ourselves to God. Our happiness is in Mary's womb, the soon-born king. Our salvation is near. Therefore, find your delight in the Lord, who give you your heart's desires. Be happy. Jesus is coming. Let us pray. Dear God, in this Advent, help us to return to the house of the Lord detaching ourselves from possessions that separate us from you. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Amen. See you next week. And remember, Jesus is our true happiness. Amen. Shining from the heart of God